And here, as the capsule is lifted onto the hangar deck, is the historic scene which will be remembered for all time by the men of the Kearsarge. We've gathered some incredible stories of real people finding treasure. Uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. Including a NASA astronaut. We'll get to him in a moment, but first, wait till you hear about this Viking horde. A thousand years ago, the Vikings were traveling around the world, taking treasure from every land they set foot on. We can't imagine how many valuable collections they've stashed away across the world, but one father and son team didn't need to imagine. They enjoyed going out with their metal detectors as a father-son hobby. When they realized a nearby field had been cleared in preparation for plowing, they asked the farmer if they could check it out. They checked every inch of that field with the metal detectors. Normally, they wouldn't find anything interesting. But this time, when the detectors started beeping, they struck gold, literally. Oh, 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 is that something? They started digging at the spot the metal detector had shown them. The first thing they noticed didn't seem so interesting. There were shards of lead sheeting that looked pretty boring, but the lead was actually once placed there to house something far more valuable. Luckily, the detectorists realized they needed to keep digging. What they found underneath the lead sheets was amazing. They could already see gold coins and flashes of silver sticking out of a pot. They recognized straight away that this was a valuable find, and they didn't want to risk damaging it. So they took the entire thing to their nearest archaeological finds officer. They slowly uncovered something amazing. The father and son team had found a silver pot decorated beautifully with lions and deer and lined with pure gold on the inside. The researchers say that the pot would have held communion bread in a wealthy French church around a thousand years ago. But when it was uncovered, it was housing something very different. There were silver rings, a gold armband, brooches and dress ornaments, and a whole pile of gold coins which had been gathered by the Vikings from all over the world. Most of them were in perfect condition, making the find even more valuable. The experts said that there was so much treasure inside the already valuable pot that she wouldn't be able to fit it all back in if she was asked to. In total, the find was worth more than $1.2 million. That's an incredible fortune for normal people to uncover. It just goes to show that if you have the patience, anyone can uncover a hidden fortune. But that's definitely not the most valuable treasure ever found. Let's go over to America for another amazing discovery by professional treasure hunter Brent Brisbane. They were investigating a mystery that dates back to 1715. It all started with King Philip V of Spain. He had just been crowned king, but was already desperately searching for funds to rebuild his kingdom after the War of Succession. So, he decided to finally ship a ton of valuables into Spain from the Americas or the New World, as he called it. He had 11 ships packed with gold, silver, jewels, and valuable porcelain. In total, it was worth an incredible 15 million pieces of eight. In today's money, that's about 400 million. The ships set sail for Spain, but that didn't get very far. On the east coast of Florida, a violent hurricane destroyed all 11 ships and killed over 1,000 crew members. Of course, King Philip tried to find his fortune, but he was only able to recover about one-third of the treasure. The rest was lost on the bottom of the ocean. Of course, people have tried to find it for a long time. Brent Brisbane and his team have had the right to search since 2010. It took them just 17 days to discover their first big treasure, a bronze cannon. Not only was it the only one of its kind ever recorded, but it was also hiding a secret. There were almost a hundred coins hidden down the barrel of the gun. It was worth just under a million dollars. That discovery kicked off an incredible treasure hunt that is still happening today. They kept finding incredibly valuable items. Two stashes of gold coins found in 2013 turned out to be worth 700,000. In 2015, they discovered more gold coins and chains with a value of one million dollars. Soon after, they found even more rare gold coins. 350 Spanish doubloons worth an incredible 4.5 million, and countless other treasures keep being discovered by the team. By 2020, they estimate they've recovered a whopping 13 million worth of treasure, and they're still going.
There's no doubt that's an incredible find, especially since others have tried and failed to locate that unbelievable stash of Spanish gold. But what about discovering treasure that nobody even knew was there? That's exactly what happened to the astronaut. This story is so crazy, it's gonna sound like badly written fiction. So brace yourself, this NASA astronaut returned from space with a treasure map, and that's 100% true. Is your mind blown yet? Stick around and we'll tell you exactly what happened, and more importantly, what's been found. The year is 1963. Astronaut Gordon Cooper, one of the seven original NASA astronauts, has been trained for an important mission. He's the youngest of the group and known for being a daredevil. There are stories of him falling asleep on top of fully fueled missiles without a care in the world. Perhaps that's why he was willing to take on a solo space mission. In fact, he was the last US astronaut ever to enter space totally alone. On May 15th, the day finally arrived, and he was launched into space. He was traveling in Faith 7, a tiny space capsule designed to take him around Earth. The capsule was so small, he had to be under 5 foot 11 inches, and he couldn't even move his feet while inside. He spent 34 hours and 20 minutes in this capsule, with barely enough space to move. But the record-breaking flight wasn't just for fun. Cooper had a mission to complete. He was a space spy. The capsule was equipped with sophisticated tools that could detect the most dangerous things on Earth. Nuclear weapons. Cooper's job was to map the location of every potential nuclear threat. In other words, any nuclear device which belonged to a country that wasn't an ally of the US. The equipment installed in the capsule could help him identify everything from nuclear missiles to unfriendly submarines. And it was working just fine once Cooper got out into space. But then something weird happened. His flight took him around the Earth an incredible 22 times. But every time he went past specific spots in the ocean, his equipment alerted him to some anomalies. He was well trained to recognize readings that indicated a nuclear site, so he was certain that it was not what he was seeing. Instead, there were unidentified objects hiding in the depths of the ocean. Luckily, as an astronaut, Cooper was a pretty smart man. In fact, he was intelligent enough to work out what his equipment was pointing out to him. He realized the strange readings were showing large metal objects under the sea in very specific parts of the ocean. They were routes used by Spanish trade ships. And that, he figured, could only mean one thing. Sunken treasure. He wasn't about to let this information disappear. While flying through space, in between collecting the data NASA had sent him up there to gather, he made notes about where his equipment said the sunken ships and other strange objects were. In the end, he recorded over a hundred of these unidentified objects. These notes became the only treasure map ever created in outer space. But Cooper's mission wasn't going to plan. A few hours before he was due to return to Earth, his autopilot control system broke down. As the only man in the capsule, it was up to him alone to save his own life and the treasure maps he created. It was a spectacular landing. He piloted his ship back down to our planet, landing just four miles from the expected spot. It's clearly impressive, but it also means those maps made it back to Earth. Cooper would later go on to become the first person ever to make two orbital flights when he served as command pilot on an eight-day endurance mission on Gemini 5. It's a super impressive achievement, but that's not the most interesting part of our story. What's crazy is not one person at NASA knew about the treasure maps when Cooper's second flight began. In fact, they never knew. Nobody knew. Cooper didn't tell a soul about what he found while he was up in space. Let's jump forward to 2004, when he was now 77 years old and had tragically been battling Parkinson's disease for some time already. He knew he was going to reach the end of his life and that if he died, his remarkable secret was going to die with him. So, more than 40 years after the space flight, he showed someone the treasure maps. The person Cooper trusted with this mind-blowing information was his friend, Daryl McClose. It's not surprising he'd show the maps to a friend, but Miklos wasn't just some guy Cooper used to hang out with. He was a professional treasure hunter. The two had been friends several years ago. Cooper was a childhood idol to Miklos, who began treasure hunting with his dad when he was just 14. He used to go looking for debris from space shuttles with his sisters. 
Now, he was holding the world's greatest secret treasure map. He had over a hundred sites to investigate now, some of which were marked as shipwrecks and others which Cooper labeled unidentified objects. Sadly, Cooper would never find out what they were. He passed away later that year, leaving Miklos to solve the mystery. And Miklos took on the challenge. He spent a few years gathering a team and put together a documentary crew to record the adventure. They now have a show called Cooper's Treasure that lets the audience watch their giant treasure hunt. But the big question is, did the map really lead to hidden treasure? Or was it all made up? The good news is, it's a genuine treasure map. How much is the treasure worth? The answer is, we don't know yet. They've so far only managed to investigate a small percentage of the sites marked on Cooper's map. But amazingly, so far, every single coordinate he told them to check was 100% accurate. That means they really are following possibly the largest treasure map that has ever existed. They have found multiple sunken ships and uncovered all kinds of treasure inside. The treasure hunters have got themselves into dangerous situations attempting to salvage treasure from the wrecks. But it seems to be paying off. They have already discovered a ship that's related to the voyages of Christopher Columbus. They also discovered another multi-million dollar shipwreck tied to the famous British explorer Sir Francis Drake, who was sailing the seven seas in the 1500s. Gold, silver, and ordnance artifacts have all been discovered thanks to the map, and it's all worth millions. Interestingly, Miklos made a strange find at one of the coordinates that Cooper had labeled an unidentified object. Rumors are now circulating that what he discovered under the water on the edge of the Bermuda Triangle is actually an alien spaceship. But it's too big for the team to pull out of the water right now, so we'll have to wait and see. That's fine, because we'll be waiting to find out the final value of the fortunes they've found under the waves, thanks to a mysterious secret map from space.